Well, first day, time to go to work. Find out what we'll be doing from now on. Definitely need to start this day off with some tips. No idea what I'm gonna be doing today. Starting something new again. Can I get a large coffee with uh, two cream and a shot of espresso, please? No, that's it. Thank you. Burr. Burr. It's cold out this morning. Oh, damn it. It's only minus, it's about minus 22. Thank you. Ah, it feels a lot colder though. A lot colder. So now that we're supplied, let's go to work and find out what they want us to do from now on. Let's go drive some trucks. So my start time is now a little earlier. Uh, so I have to get up an hour earlier, which is fine. It's something to get used to, but you know, we were just starting to see the sun coming up, right? When I was going to work last week. Now, when I got up, it was pitch black again. But by the time summer hits, oh, it'll be bright sunshiny by the time we head to work. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this summer. I think it's gonna be a good one. An exceptionally good one. Well, here we are. Nice view sitting right here. All right, so one of my tasks for today was to bring one of the T680s we have into inland Kenworth. And you know who's at inland? Hey guys, it's me for real. This mask is hiding my face, but uh, safety first, you know. Andy the Kenworth guy. <laughs> you know, I always talk about him when we drive past here. We're on Route 90 up in the north part of Winnipeg. And uh, he sells Kenworths. I sure do. And uh, I was actually talking with him uh, when I still had my Volvo about getting a W900 through him. He was the guy. And then life took a different turn, but... But that's okay. Uh, I'm in it for the long haul. You know what, Josh? We can... We can make a deal when you're ready and down the road if that's in a year, that's in a month. I don't care. Well, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I'll be switching my favorite truck anytime soon. Yeah, but we got uh, we got quite a few on the on the yard for stock. That's for sure. Definitely. They got the is it still the T680 that new one that you got in or is it a different name now? Well, it's the T680. Uh, we're going to we actually have our first T680 next gen showing up in uh, Actually, beginning of April or middle of April, we were just talking about it in a meeting today. So yeah, we're going to be getting those in shortly. Uh, and the T680 I brought in uh, to get looked at, it had an engine light on from what I could see. It wasn't my truck, but I brought it here for the driver and it felt like driving an electric truck. It was so quiet, so smooth. It, it would almost put you to sleep. That's the only problem. Driving on a cloud. <laughs> yeah, it's driving a on a cloud. Exactly. Speaking of engine lights, my engine lights on in my truck here too. Um, it happens. You got Kind of love it. Oh, but it's hidden from view here, though. Oh, you can't see it. Well, I see it every day. It's kind of pain, but oh well. <laughs> what can you do? So I had to drop off the Kenworth at Inland and uh, pick up one of our trucks at Beaver here. It's the Volvo dealership in Winnipeg. I and have to uh, protect myself here. Hang on. <laughs> I don't want anybody to see uh, see me here going into enemy territory. <laughs> What a good guy, though. Hey, he's bringing me to the competition. You betcha. Where so, do you need to go? Uh, service department. I guess that's service right here. Right ahead here. But yeah, he was nice enough to give me a ride down the road, so appreciate it a lot. Anytime. And we'll see you again in another video, I'm sure, very soon. Sounds good. Well, take care, everybody. Hey, uh, check out my channel, too, if you haven't already done it. It's just The Kenworth Guy on YouTube, so see you around. I'll leave a link for you down below in my description. Go check out his channel. If you need a Kenworth, you know who to go talk to. So how cool was that, eh? That wasn't planned. I just <laughs> showed up to work and they told me to take the truck to Inland. And I knew that Andy works there, so I was gonna go and find him and say hi. 
And then I needed to uh, find a ride over here to Beaver to pick up this truck that I'm in now. And he offered a ride. So, really good guy. Hope you guys do go and check out his channel. That was uh, pretty cool. And he might actually sell me on the Ford F-150. That was a nice pickup. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I got you strapped onto my head. Hopefully, uh, the view is alright there. Doesn't this, uh, doesn't this truck bring back memories? The Volvo truck is identical to the one that I drove for years. I was pulling flatbed with it, remember? We used to pull those, uh, those wide loads through Northern Ontario. So uh, I had to bring that T680 into Winnipeg and pick this one up and bring it back. Uh, the T680 had an engine light issue that needed to be looked at and I'm guessing that uh, this truck was the same, but this one was all fixed up and they needed it back at the yard. Driving this truck sure brings back the memories though. Uh, I lived in a truck exactly like this. How many of you remember that? Were you guys watching at that point? I lived in a truck just like this for what, three years? Oh, more than that, three and a half years while I was pulling flatbeds. We went coast to coast in that thing. We had that thing out in Newfoundland, out in British Columbia, way down to Georgia all over the US and Canada, Prince Edward Island. This thing rides exactly like it. I think it's the same year even. I mean, they bought them at the same time, right? It is, it is the, the same year or the same model anyways. Absolutely identical. And we've got a train. Fantastic. I'm not sure how the video will go today. There won't be too much of a video. It's my first day. I'm just getting settled in. And uh, after I get back with this truck, I got some meetings in the office yet, and uh, we'll see where we get to from there. But it was a real treat today to see Andy. I'm hoping that we can do that collab sometime soon, but uh, you know, sometimes life gets in the way of doing fun things and uh, doesn't work out because of time and stuff but now that I'm home every weekend he says that uh, usually once a month on Saturdays he's in at work and maybe we can go and test drive one of those new next-gen t680s or something else that he has there we'll have to see so I don't think today was what a typical normal day will be like but I have no idea it's my first day in this position now uh, I had to do this swap with the trucks today I delivered one load into Winnipeg when I first got going this morning uh, it was a really cold morning though, so even the truck that I'm supposed to be driving didn't start this morning. This train is just about stopping. Look at this. Look at this. It's going into Winnipeg there. Yeah, as far as I know, by the sounds of it, it sounds like I'll be pulling a lot of uh, vans, some flatbed, uh, whatever they need me for. I feel like I went home, and now that I'm driving this Volvo, it really brings back the feelings of nostalgia from the days when I was living in a Volvo just like this. It's not the nicest truck out there, but I really like the transmissions that they got in these trucks, the iShift transmissions. They shift really smoothly, they, they make it very easy to drive. I actually kind of like it better than the Peterbilt automatic transmission that they got going right now. But. Uh, yeah, once I get back to the office, like I was saying, we've got some off, uh, some uh, meetings. We're gonna go over our social media policy. And once we get that all straightened out, I'll be able to make more of a storyline, maybe starting tomorrow. Uh, because at that point, we'll have on paper everything that uh, I can and can't say, and can and can't show and stuff. You know, there's some sensitive things that probably I don't need to share. Uh, but at least I'll, I'll have a guideline then of, you know, what what's acceptable so that I can create a good story for you every day. And, uh... Oh, they did stop now. They're almost over the intersection. The engine is literally on the road. All they have to do is move it just off the road. This is ridiculous. Shoot. After all the delays I've had today, I'm already trying to get this truck going. And in the morning, when I first got to work this morning, I got assigned, uh, it's a Peterbilt. It will be a day cab, but it's got a stretched wheelbase. It looks pretty cool, I like it. 
uh, but it didn't start in the morning because it was so cold overnight and I guess the batteries got a little bit cold uh, so it'll, I'll probably be in that tomorrow uh, so there's that delay and then I got to uh, Volvo and I couldn't get this truck going because it was too cold so there was that delay now I got a train stuck on the road another delay I see the trucking has not changed <laughs> and it probably never will nothing but delays so we didn't have time to do our sit down today and go over our social media policy and guidelines uh, so I didn't film too much uh, it was my first day there I'm getting used to my new position uh, getting used to the truck I'm in the truck I'm in is a day cab extended I think I told you already right uh, Peterbilt I'm excited to show that to you in the near future weasel <laughs> not a lot of substance in today's video but the highlight of the day was meeting Andy the Kenworth guy I'm serious, he's, he makes some pretty awesome videos and he sells some awesome trucks. Chevy's knocking at the door. One second. Hello? Come on in, bud. All right, Diesel wants to go. Come on in, Chev. You sure you want to go there, Diesel? No, make up your mind. I'm going to close the door. You good? You sure? All right. Children. Like I was saying, though, meeting Andy today was uh, the highlight of my day. Uh, we do plan on doing another collaboration, like I was telling you, uh, down the road. I'm not sure exactly when yet, but it'll probably be once the weather gets a little nicer. I think it'll make for a better video. Uh, I'm going to show off some of his new, uh, the T680 next gens, maybe some W9s, whatever he's got on the lot, whatever he wants to do. Uh, I'll give, I'll hand over the reins to him on that and whatever he wants to do. Uh, I'm down for and then we can sort of promote each other and also uh, obviously promote Kenworth Because who doesn't love Kenworth, right? Anyway, uh, so I did show you the truck there just in the last clip uh, I, I edited this video a day late. I wanted to wait until we had the sit down about social media uh, Very important that that got out of the way first. So now that we've got that established and we have an agreement uh I can share a lot more with you. So tomorrow's video's got a little bit of a truck tour, just a walk around. The truck is really dirty right now because this time of year it's it's just a mess. All the snow is melting, the salt's all over the road. It's impossible to get your truck clean. So I'm going to do a proper truck tour inside and outside once the weather clears up and we can get that truck nice and polished and shined. But I do go around the whole truck tomorrow and show you the whole truck and a couple of the other trucks that I've driven in the past and uh, looking forward to that so I think from now on uh, there will be a whole lot more content and uh, a lot better storyline for the vlog here and also an open invite to all of you if you want to come work where I'm at and uh, help us out we'll talk about that more in upcoming videos though just wanted to uh, swing in here right at the end for the ending clip just to let you know that uh, today was Monday when I filmed this whole vlog and there wasn't a lot of substance but tomorrow's another day I hope you join us all right we're showing off the truck tomorrow a little bit I know a lot of you would like to see that a lot of you have questioned rightly so in the past why I don't show the outside of the truck and stuff and I had my reasons before but uh, those reasons have now gone and I can show you the outside of my truck I can show you more of what I'm doing and I've got the green light to do so really looking forward to it it's gonna be fun take care everybody we'll see you in the next video it's coming up very soon I'm already editing it it's already coming down the pike here <laughs>